Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about the crazy story about Christian's potty training regression. Um, I mentioned it in a previous video how we kind of messed up. We messed up big time. Christian has been potty trained for a year already. It was a hard journey, but we finally got him. He wasn't having any potty accidents, but we decided to change things up. <laughs> we decided to change things up without telling his BCBA, without consulting, getting any advice. We were just like, yeah, we got this. We could do this. Let's change it up. And I'm going to tell you guys what we did and how we messed up and also how how we got him back on track because he is thank god he is still fully potty trained independent um, but it wasn't like that for a little bit after his regression so i was freaking out i was like no no please i can't go back i can't go back so i want to talk to you guys about yeah what we did i hope that this can be helpful to you guys um, me explaining what we did and how we got him back so that maybe if you guys are dealing with something similar it can be helpful to you guys it all started three months ago. If you guys know us and you follow our vlogs, you guys know that we love to be outdoors. We love going to the mountains, hiking, biking, things like that. So when we're up there, it's very hard to find restrooms and especially clean ones. And Christian touches everything. He he just like stims on the toilet sometimes. So it's not very clean. So we decided that we wanted to try to teach him standing up. You would just assume that it wouldn't be a big deal to change things up like this. I thought maybe it'd be okay to teach him both of these things so that he has, you know, both of these both two ways to go potty right so we didn't talk to anybody thinking back now i do find that we could have done things differently after talking to his bcba but we decided to motivate him to go standing so what we would do is you know we would um go in the backyard even or like when we were in the mountains we would try to try to get him to go standing because we also had tried to buy a small portable toilet like the porta potties not the porta potties like the little ones when you're trying to potty train your child and you buy the little miniature ones uh we decided that we could try to do that but christian was way too big for that he felt uncomfortable it was still weird so we were like let's just try doing it standing up so what we started doing is we started to just go super excited and crazy and hype him up whenever he would go standing because that itself that feeling everything is a new sensation a new process when you have to learn how to pee outside of your pull-up or diaper it's a different sensation to release it so same thing applies to him when he just felt like it felt weird to just be like you know to just be naked and peeing and just felt off you know like, like to, i think to him it was like i'm gonna have an accident like it's like a bad thing so for us to 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 reward him and give him candy for doing that to try to get him to think it's okay we ended up doing it too much because he ended up doing it and we were excited but then that same day he started having potty accidents at home so we went from being like yeah you're peeing um, outside you're standing up to just finding a bunch of pee everywhere like we'll be like what oh man you know so it was a it was a hot mess for a little bit um we were freaking out because we were we were just thinking like what if this is permanent what if we literally messed everything up just to try to get him to stand up because it went on for days we were like okay maybe it's just one accident and then it was another accident that day and we were like what the heck and then we went to the next day and it was another accident thank goodness but by the way that it wasn't bowel accidents he was still going for number two in the toilet so whew, that would have been horrible at that moment but yeah all of his pee was just having accidents 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 and i was freaking out so i decided to talk to his bca fin finally and i was like um i kind of messed up i was i decided to let him try to go standing and he just thinks it's a free-for-all now <laughs> so she was like yeah that happens what we should have done is we should have probably done a social story we could have um talked about it a bit more with social stories you kind of explain what's going to happen so you go more into detail detail you read these stories we kind of did that for him when he was potty training we did like a hey, christian it's a big boy he goes in his in the potty things like that so what we could have done is do something like that like when there is no bathroom it is okay to go standing up something like that but we didn't do that and it went on for a few days i would say like four four days of pure accidents so let me tell you guys kind of what we did and what i hope might be helpful to you guys so after my first freak out of like i can't go back to being not potty trained after my first freak out i made sure to not give christian any attention for his potty accidents so I, I i don't do the the no christian you don't pee on yourself instead of that i just have him help clean up um sometimes i don't because he doesn't really seem to care about that but so if your kiddos are against doing work you can have them help clean up so that that could be one step um for sure for christian i had him 
change out of his dirty clothes and put it in the hamper and um, that itself is a work for him that he really doesn't like so I made sure to do that so whatever work of cleanup they don't like have them do that I make, made sure to reiterate that we go pee in the toilet so that's the only thing I said so instead of being like no Christian you made a mess I would just you know walk him over have him take off his dirty clothes put it in the hamper sit him down and I say we go pee pee in the toilet that's it neutral tone it doesn't have to be like a angry just we go pee pee in the toilet um and with that i also went back to the last step we had which was um reinforcing the pee in the toilet any pee a, a, a little dribble a, a lot of pee anything in the toilet we would reinforce so pretty much going back to basics this was the last step that he was in before he got potty trained and we made sure to go back to that one so go back to your last step that was successful um, so with that any pee that we can catch even if I just saw him like he was about to and I would run him as, soon, as long as we would have a pee in the toilet we made sure to make hype it up yeah Christian yeah we go pee pee in the toilet good job and give him a reinforcer and I would say probably it took no more than two weeks maybe even just like a week a week and a half and we fight we were back on track so i'm i just felt so thankful i was so overwhelmed like i can't believe i did this a lot of times another tip that i would have is consult with your bcba for any kind of changes regarding um big things like potty training because even my child is potty trained but something like that can throw him off and i wasn't even aware that it could throw him off but i can see how he got confused with him going always sitting and then the fact that usually when he has a potty accident it's like standing up everything kind of confused him so i can understand how that happens so just make sure that you're very very um detailed in what you expect of your child so if you expect them <laughs> to go standing maybe you could do a story on that and how you could do both I'm, i still might try and whenever my bcba does give me more information on how we're going to do that for christian i'll let you guys know for sure if there's anything that she finds that's very beneficial but for now standing up is too confusing for him it mixes it, it's a mixed signal for him so i'm definitely only going to do sitting down he is independent again he goes into pee by himself and when it's a bowel movement we have to kind of be on it like keep an eye on him like hey, is he in the bathroom and he's taking too long and usually it's because he is having a bowel movement so i make sure to wipe him uh but yeah that's pretty much what happened we were so so scared because we had, like I said, we had worked on it for forever and to just see that regression. Um, so if you guys see a regression, just don't freak out. Try these steps. Or if you have a BCBA or something that you can talk to, consult with your with your um, experts <laughs> and uh, everything will be okay. I think you had it before. What I like to think of it as is if you could achieve it once, you'll get there again. You know, it might take a little while and it might suck to have to go through this again. It kind of brought me back to that moment of like, oh, potty training sucks. And it's funny because I'm doing it at work as well too right now. So I'm in like a whole, I was in a whole potty training thing. Uh, but yeah, don't freak out try these steps and hopefully that these help you um don't do what i did <laughs> uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helps somebody out there with dealing with potty regression or potty training uh, let me know if you guys have dealt with any potty regression and how you guys are dealing with it or how you dealt with it and where you guys are at in your potty training journey i would love to know and if i can help you with anything i'm right here all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one bye